Can you believe it's really been 12 years since the miracle on the Hudson? Really? Oh my 12 gosh. 12 years. Whoa. That's, I got to get my mind around that because um, I was living in an apartment at the time that faced the Hudson River and we watched the whole thing. We were on the air. Yeah, we were on the air. Because I remember I tried to get people that were on that flight on the show. Right. What time did it all take place? I guess it was you and I were on the air later on because it all took place during the day. So I remember seeing all the helicopters around and all the chaos. And then we were on the air afterwards. Right. So, but see, the flight was coming from New York to Charlotte. So that's how I knew all the people on the plane. And we had a couple of people lined up that at the end didn't want to go on the air and talk about it. But yeah, that was 12 years ago. Yeah, now I feel old. <laughs> it's funny you know um macaulay culkin tweeted want to feel old i turned 40 today oh, oh my god <laughs> and i thought that was hilarious because i didn't realize it was macaulay culkin because somebody had retweeted it and i was like why should i feel old that some rando turned 40 and then i saw it was macaulay culkin i was like oh man <laughs> now i feel old that he said that but yeah, yeah the fact that sully sellenberger was 12 years ago my gosh yeah. Oh, so yeah, that so if I'm doing the math right, you and I were both 14 years old when we were doing a radio <laughs> show. Yeah. <laughs> if it was 12 years ago, we had to be 14. So cuz we're only 26 now, so that <laughs> makes sense. It's, well, to be fair, you and I both did start very young because people are like, how did you accomplish so much in radio? You must be old. And I was like, no, I'm not old. Anthony and I are not very old. It's just that we both started super young. But like 12. you didn't go to college and I started basically, you know, I then I graduated college. I tried to go to college. It just wasn't for me. Right. Yeah. You're one of those guys who started radio when you were in your teens. Yeah. I mean, college wasn't for me. If you know me, you know how long I lasted inside a college classroom. Didn't last too long. I went, nah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm going to radio. I'm not doing this. What was about it you didn't like? Did you not like... Uh, the teachers you didn't ha you didn't like studying you didn't want to learn stuff your brain couldn't handle it what was it i went to like three classes and i remember it was hard to park <laughs> parking was a bitch <laughs> um and i always got lost and i really i didn't like the class i didn't go to college because i couldn't find parking i couldn't find I parking uh that's the best excuse for not going to school i've ever heard in my life and i played in a band so i always wanted to go to band practice i didn't want to go to college who wants to go to college you know right, I terrible just, parking why go and they had horrible parking if, if the parking <laughs> would have been good i i probably would have been all up for it but you'd be like a dentist now but yeah they they wanted me to like <laughs> read parking if the parking was good you'd be you'd be like an accountant or something <laughs> i would be a doctor uh because that's what be I, I, I was pre-med for the three <laughs> days i was in school i was you'd pre -med. Be a surgeon if they had better parking <laughs> <laughs> they had horrible parking and i just I, I couldn't find parking spots and it was, it was so not we lost good. a brain surgeon <laughs> yeah and it was a far drive it was like 30 35 miles each way and i don't know i just had better things to do i i really like girls and i don't think there was like girls in the class in the class that that i liked and right. I, I just i think i lied to my parents for a year or so <laughs> telling them i was still going to college but i wasn't <gasps> you did so wait you were leaving at the same time every day as if you were going to class and you were going where instead would you know because my parents worked all all the time so they would always be gone in the morning and come back. So I just wouldn't get up. Oh, okay. So they would think that what? Like you'd gone to school and come back already? Yeah. I'm st how, how was school? Great. <laughs> it was my, I'm learning so much. I learned about uh, I, uh, the, the Constitution today. I'm pre-med. <laughs> <laughs> those two have nothing to do with each other <laughs> exactly so, <laughs> <laughs> so for three years they thought i was in college i went three days <laughs> i'm pretty mad today, today we did art <laughs> yeah, my parents are sitting back at christmas time going aren't you graduating soon <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, you should come. <laughs> I'll send you an invitation. Uh, so glad you're still paying for my college. Awesome.
That invitation must have gotten lost in the mail. <laughs> I graduated. You weren't there. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't uh, know what happened to you. I looked out. didn't see you. Got my medical degree and everything. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> got it from the library. Yeah, uh, that was my whole college. <laughs> got it from the place I call the library. <laughs> I went there too at the college, and you had to buy books. Books weren't free; you had to buy them for. So they're like, you got to pay for this book for this class. It's like 150 bucks. I ain't paying for that. No, it's expensive. I know. I went to school. I went to grad school. You know, see, I, I had like a little scam that I ran. So every single book that you had to buy in grad school also super expensive. There's one book that was like two hundred dollars, and you know, I, I couldn't afford that. There was no way. But I found out that if you request a book at the library, they will get it for you. So as soon as I got my syllabus, I went right to the library and I said, could you get me these books? And they did. And I take them out from the library for as long as I could. Um, and then when I had to return them, because the, the library, you only had a book, you only got it for like a couple of weeks because mm-hmm. they knew that, you know, they, they were on to you. So what I did is I would take each book and I would go to a friend of mine's office and I would um xerox every single run, page. run copies of each page <laughs> every single page every single page she's an intern she was like why are you doing that i got an intern so i was like great i would hand her intern like a stack of books and be like here copy all these <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm done with that now what do i do here here's another one have fun <laughs> that's what the intern did yeah nice. so all my books all my books were just like you know they had those big binder clips instead of regular books oh yeah and you could just take them right back. I didn't how many take people... anything back. It was, I, I shredded them when I was done. No, I'm saying you took the real ones right back. You're like, I'm oh, done. Yeah. I read it already. I, I, I did everything. Took it back to the library that way, you know, and like we'd be assigned different chapters. So I was like, great. I only need to bring this one chapter with me today. Yeah. I, w- instead I would of go. The whole, instead of the whole book. I would go. It would be 150 bucks. And I would... <laughs> How much is the shirt? Because I wanted to wear the shirt that said, you know, Carolina, like I'm, you know, I'm going to college. I'm a college right. guy. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I had to get the college. So I spent all my money buying shirts and hats and things. <laughs> <laughs> to look like a college guy. I look like a college guy. I had this, the, the shirt on. I had the, the sweater. I had all that. But I went three days. And then what kind of women were attracted to you when you wore those those shirts? Well, the ones that wanted to be with a successful doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you study? I'm pretty mad. Uh, <laughs> Can't you tell by my shirt? <laughs> yeah, look at me. I'm pretty mad. <laughs> it's the only thing I bought from the from the bookstore <laughs> it was a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> no books, just a sweater. <laughs> yeah, should I get a book or a sweater? Book or sweater? Which is going to get me laid? Book or sweater? Uh, you so got I'm your bu- priorities straight. Yeah. My favorite thing is like people like he seems dumb. Well, someone's got to graduate bottom of the class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that was you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think if I was still in college, if I would have graduated yet, <laughs> it'd, it'd, it'd be a career. <laughs> I know. We every day we would get on the air and be like, "So, is this the year Anthony's going to finish his last <laughs> class and take his last couple of credits?" Uh, no. No, won't be this time. No, I I have seventy five more credits to go before I graduate. <laughs> the thing is, it's been so many years that all those classes you took, they don't even have them anymore. They like, probably don't. I mean, all the classes back then that you took were in like Commodore sixty four. Mm-hmm. So. You know, it doesn't it's not doesn't translate anymore. You can't use those. Well, I I took like a math. Cl- <laughs> you don't want me to take a math class, so you know right. the, you know I'm out of there. The minute I I went into math class and they, I I'm I'm done. I took an English class and then I took recording studio techniques. I I should have stayed in that one. <laughs> And it was on one of those old Korg sound links rather than uh, digital. Yeah, but I think I only went to that class like twice. You know, I, I think by the time I got out of the math class, I'm, I can't do this. There's some people that just can't do math. And that's, I don't know why I signed up for a math class. Because you have to have these stupid classes to no, be pretty everybody, everybody in radio. I, if you, can you, what they should do uh, uh, when they do um, career counseling, this is what they should say. Can you do math? Nope. Radio is for you. Yeah. There's not, I've never met anybody in my life in radio who can do math. That's one of the things that we all have in common. Nobody does math in radio. See, and that's what they should do at high school. They should say, what are your grades? And I say, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to graduate this year, I think. 
now, mm. and then they go, you should be a welder. Mm. <laughs> go stand in that line over there. That's for welding. And that's what I should have went to. I should have said, okay, I'll go to college. It's funny you say that because my mother has been going through boxes and getting rid of stuff. And I found this box that she kept of some of my old school stuff. And in it was this, I don't know, whatever the test they used to give you as a kid to to see what you're good at and what your future should hold, like to predict where mm-hmm. you should go to college and what you should study. And uh, so she found mine and I scored off the charts for entertainment and communication and on the very very bottom of the list the thing that i scored the lowest that had a negative score for was uh careers where you help people (laughs) (laughs) really (laughs) so surprised (laughs) so they were like they have a list of things that you should never do and for me it was like nursing (laughs) medical field (laughs) social work like literally anything to do with with people and then up on top, but it was like entertainment. And then the closest thing to it was like communication and then volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing was, you better marry good. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that ass tight because right. you're going to need to find a guy. <laughs> God, I'd love to take that class or take that test now. And see what the, We should take that test and see what we should grow up to be. <laughs> yeah let's find you know what let's find that and do that tomorrow yeah we should we should have a test and figure out what we're go- what we should be when we grow up right and then we should go try that okay um, you know what i'm sure that test is out there let's let's save yeah. that for tomorrow i will find it i'll search for it and tomorrow on the show we will you and i will both take the test to figure out what we should be when we grow up okay but w- well we have to go back to college well okay you can't go back to college at all to do mm-hmm. a new career because you owe so much for the last college That's right <laughs> there's no way still in debt for my last two <laughs> <laughs> but you know me being the age i am i'm still going to go back to college i'm going to sit in that class and it's going to be math and i'm going to say I-, I can't do this listen just because a test finds something you don't have to listen to it no we should we, I, no i'm not going i'm not listening to a stupid t- let's just take the test and see where we land but <laughs> well let's not let's not listen to it <laughs> both of us are pretty close to needing to find a new career <laughs> <laughs> we should listen to something. <laughs> we should find that test and take it seriously then. <laughs> Anybody have any ideas? <laughs> Anthony at CooperAnthony.com. 